to not only design something that's cool, but something that really matches with what people need. Hello and welcome. My name is Pablo. I am from Madrid, Spain, and welcome to the University of Applied Sciences of The Hague. Hello, my name is Daphne. I am 21 years old and I study at The Hague University User Experience Design. I am Antti. I'm a senior lecturer and a team leader in the UXD program. So my name is Alice. Um, I'm a lecturer here at um, UXD, so User Experience Design. Um, I mainly give uh, research-related courses, um, but also courses related to creative thinking and to design processes. All right, so UXD is about uh, di digital products and how people experience them. So in our program, people learn to design applications and websites, but also other kinds of things uh, for products that have some kind of a digital component that people interact with. The course is three years, so it's kind of a fast-track version of the four-year Dutch program on communication and multimedia design. Um, but at the same time, it also goes a little bit deeper and broader into, into user experience design. So we build up complexity year by year. So in the first year, you're going to go through courses like Research for Design or Design and Creativity to develop your skill set. Then you're going to work on projects in teams or solo. In the second year, you're going to go to an internship in a real company or take a minor at this university. And uh, you do work quite a lot in groups. So there is some collaboration coming in to that, but that's also to prepare you for a future situation because um, you will work in design teams later on as well. So I think year one is really like super intense, like a crash course in giving you sort of your basic uh, skills and also work on the mindset that you need to become a user experience designer. Um, and it, it has been ex experienced by the students as being like very busy. But what I see is that when people arrive here, they are really full of energy. They are really eager to get to know each other. They are eager to get to know the city as well. And uh, in the beginning of the program, we also give them the room to um, do activities together to get to know each other a little bit better and uh, to start building that community. The first year as a whole, it's really about getting to know the basics of UX design. And there's a lot of content in that first year, because after that first year, our students are already prepared to do an internship in a UX company as kind of a junior designer. So in that first year, we, we cover topics like, well, what is user experience design, of course, but also interaction design, a lot about psychology. The students work on different projects as well, sometimes with real clients. And uh, so the first year is really a good mixture already of a lot of practice-oriented stuff that uh, designers would do after they leave the building. The Hague is one of the most international cities that exist in the world and the program is full of international students coming from all over the place. I believe that in fact this year has more than 28 different nationalities. Yeah, so internationalization is one of the key uh, things that the Hague University is all about. So it is a really international uh, university in a very international city as well. So um, it's really nice to see all these different cultures come together in one place and interact with each other. And this is the insights of the university. Welcome to the main entrance where most interesting things happen. We have every single room that you can imagine, that you can rent for free. We have a library, we have cafeteria, we have places where students gather and talk to each other. We have places where you can meet and greet and also eat. And I really like The Hague because it's very welcoming for all the international students because all of us here are internationals and it's really easy to make friends in this beautiful city that offers a lot for you. The Hague has, of course, a lot of history as, a, as an international city of justice and uh, there's a lot of uh, embassies, uh, big companies have their headquarters here. A lot of expats really in The Hague um, and uh, that kind of creates a very international and dynamic vibe, in my opinion, to the city. Creativity is very important for a designer, of course, and it's, I think, useful if you consider yourself already a creative person when you enter the program. But also during the program, you learn different ways of being creative. So if you are sort of, if you have the motivation to be creative and you put effort into that during the course, 
you will also creativity is something you can learn along the way. You don't need to know programming before the uh, studies, but there is some programming involved in, in this program. And uh, a UX designer usually doesn't program much by themselves, but uh, they need to be aware of the possibilities of programming so that they can design something that someone else then can develop into a product. And in the program currently we cover uh, the basics of web development, so HTML, CSS and JavaScript, but also some programming languages that are more tuned towards uh, creative uh, coding. So this is a program of uh, digital design, of course, which means that you will be using a lot of digital tools for your design. Um, and uh, you don't need to know any specific tools for that yet when you start with the studies. But of course, nowadays, uh, everything we do has something to do with computers. So you should be a proficient user of a computer, I would say, and, and know the basics of at least uh, the standard office software. If you know something more, it can be an advantage, but you can survive without. So in first place, I think after three years of UXD, I want to do a master's to more elaborate. I do want to get to know more about programming and also graphical design. So I will do that after this uh, study, but then later I will continue working at a design agency, I hope. And I actually am hoping to do that internationally as well. When someone graduates from UXD, uh, what I see is that most of them find a job as a UX designer, either in a design agency or at the UX department of a bigger company. Um, but also many of our students decide to continue their studies in a master's program somewhere else. So we uh, have our alumni working now on their masters in media technology, for example, or service design or graphic design. And uh, what they normally choose to do is they uh, do that also in another country. So it also tells about the international mindset of our students. When I finish the, my studies in the third year, and I'm, I am planning to open my own company related to augmented reality and virtual reality, and even dig into the wonderful world of brain-to-computer interfaces. So after my studies, I want to be a UX researcher or a UX analyst for companies like Google and Facebook that focus on UX. And during my studies, I get the necessary skill set and all the tools to work with, and then I can apply them in my real work. There is a lot to be expected from UXD. The first year you are going to do a lot of research, you are going to collaborate in teams, you are going to be using new digital tools in order to create prototypes. You will also learn how to program and code, at least in a low resolution, but enough knowledge will be given to you to maybe develop yourself further. Well, you need to um, have an interest in doing research, I would say. So being curious in that sense, so um, I don't mean necessarily like scientific inquiry, but um, being curious about what happens around you and especially in relation to people. So if you think that you are a person who has an urge to use the creativity to improve the lives of people, then UXD gives you that chance because in UXD what you learn is to use your creativity um, to not only design something that's cool, but something that really matches with what people need. Something that people don't even necessarily know that they need. So if you are curious about people and you want to improve their lives and you want to use your creativity for doing that, then UXD might be the place for you.